<laughs> Let me clarify. My family thinks the Academy Awards is an actual holiday. And like any holiday that includes family, it can be fraught with peril. I play a character on uh, on a new show on ABC called uh, How to Live with Your Parents for the Rest of Your Life. And um, starring the amazing, beautiful, funny Sarah Chalk, who uh, one day will marry me. Just so you know, I'm going to invite my friends from work to the party. Elizabeth Perkins plays my brilliant wife. And we love our emptiness. And we're having a great time in our midlife. And all of a sudden, out of the blue, our daughter uh, decides she needs to move back home with uh, our seven-year-old granddaughter. Not a great idea for Max and Elaine because we really kind of like our um, freedom. And even when we were parents, we liked our freedom. They're kind of an eccentric couple. It's the Academy Awards. Anything can happen. It's very timely now. I mean, there's a lot of older kids moving back, whether it's the economy or just the, the state of the world. Back in the day, you know, everybody stayed with the family. I mean, you know, you moved grandma to the closet and you brought your uncle out of the closet and it was a whole just a whole lazy Susan of genetic issues. There's a boy who likes me is coming to the party tomorrow. Oh, that's There's a boy that likes her. Elaine Elizabeth Perkins' character, she's very carefree. You know, she's very spiritual. She kind of just lets go. Where I think my Max is a lot more controlling, while at the same time being very comfortable in, in his own skin. The object here is to control the rollout of information so I can get Scott on the hook before he sees what my life has become. Which I think we can all agree is a mess. No. It is not a mess. No, she's right. Mess. It is a mess. And this is what attracted me to the role. I really never played anyone that just loved his life and, and was comfortable in his own skin. It's just like a normal party like anyone in America would have. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Academy Awards. He thinks he has all the answers, but he really doesn't. But he tries to, to make life work for everybody and uh, has wonderful schemes and ideas that are usually, at the end of the day, not as great as, as he thought, but his heart's in the right place. And he holds on to his dream of one day being an actor, even though he's a very poor one. So it's kind of like, you know, art imitating life. A little bit. She's with a friend tonight. She is? Who she refers to as Hot Scott. Dr. Hot Scott? That's right. And let me tell you something. If Polly ends up with Dr. Hot Scott, you're not going to be hearing any complaining out of us. You're not complaining out of here. <laughs>